Hi, my name is Martin and in this video I'd like to present you three methods of updating drivers on Windows 10. We'll start of course from system tools uh, and then there will be two alternatives using third-party software. I have tested all these methods to make sure that they are safe and can be used by beginners. Which one is the best? Let's find out. Method 1. Windows 10 System Utilities In Windows 10, there are two possible algorithms for updating drivers using system utilities via Windows Update and using Device Manager. So instead of showing you two separate ways, I'll show you how to combine them in one which requires less interaction from the user. 1. To get started, hold down the Windows and R buttons on your keyboard at the same time to open the run utility. In this window, enter devmgmt.msc and click OK. In the list of devices, find the one whose driver you want to update and right-click on the device's name to open the context menu and select Update Driver. The first option will start searching for new driver versions within the system. If the driver has been successfully updated, then you can stop searching and close the device manager. If not, then run this menu again. Okay, there is this menu again, and now we will select the second option there. If you have a file with a new driver version, then specify a path to it in this field. Well, if it didn't help to, then go back and click search for updated drivers on Microsoft Update. It may take some time for search, and depending on your OS settings, Updates will be installed automatically or will wait for your permission. If this method didn't help you find and install updates, then try the second method of updating drivers using the vendor's utilities. Method 2. Update drivers with vendor utility. Before we start, please note that each vendor has its own name for such utilities for NVIDIA. It will be GeForce Experience for Intel, Driver and Support Assistant. For AMD, Autodeck Tool, etc. My PC uses hardware by Intel, so I'll show you how to use vendor utilities to update drivers using the vendor and support assistant as an example. 1. Find the utility download page. As a rule, it is a simple Google query such as name of the vendor and driver update phrase. Open the web page and download the utility. Then you run a file to initialize the installation of the utility, read the license agreement and agree with it to continue the installation. Further, various options can be offered such as participation in the customer experience program, but you can skip it. Then click install, wait for the end of the process and reboot it if required. Then open and run the utility, it will open a window or web page with your system scan report. The page offers to download an update for my graphic divide drivers. Click download and wait for the end and then of course click install. If several driver updates will be available for you, then it is better to click install all to initialize one by one installation. The installation process in such utilities is very simple, so it's better to leave everything as is and launch it. Method 3. Use driver updater software. If the two previous methods are too difficult to you, then driver updater software is the best solution for you. There are dozens of such programs, so to show you how it works, I selected the driver booster as it is one of the most popular among them. By the way, on IT reviews, we have reviews of some of the top driver updaters and other tips for optimizing your PC, look it up. 1. As usual, to get started, you need to download and run the installation file. You can use the link in the video description to get the installation. 2. High likely, these will be promotional offers by the vendor or its partners, so you can safely refuse what you don't need. After the installation, Driver Booster will automatically scan your system for devices with outdated drivers. If it finds relevant updates for your devices, you can install them simply by marking them in the list and clicking install. And of course, don't forget to reboot your PC to apply changes in system drivers. Summary. And now, as I promised, here's the short conclusion about pros and cons for each method. Method 1 is available by default, but ineffective for outdated hardware. Method 2 automatically finds hardware and best drivers for it, but only updates certain types of hardware by vendor. Method 3 is almost a one-click solution, 
but may be payable. System utilities are available in every Windows 10 system, but finding drivers for obsolete devices may not be a trivial task with it. Driver utilities by hardware vendors allows you to get updates for device drivers more quickly. At the same time, you need a separate utility for each device, which may not be convenient in everyday life. One of the main advantages of driver updaters is that it searches for updates for all devices in your system, not just for a specific vendor. In addition, this software can automatically monitor new updates appearance, install them in one click, and even make backups of selected drivers. The key drawback of this software is that its full functionality is available only in paid version. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like and share this video with your friends. Goodbye.